Hello and welcome to another Microsoft PowerPoint tutorial. In this tutorial we will going to be exploring how to work with Format Painter and some of the font options. So let's start by selecting the text Countries to Visit which could be selected like this or simply by clicking on the box. Either way the text will going to get selected. After the text is selected we can be applying some of the font properties from here or I could be going under the font dialog box. So once I'm in the font dialog box, I can pretty much choose the font. I can choose the size of the font. I could go up. I could come down. However I want to do it. So if I want to choose size 52, I can do that. I can go about changing the font color. I can make underline whatever I want to apply. If I want to make it small caps. And then besides that, I could also go under character spacing and I could add spacing like I want it to be expanded three points and click OK so here is my font with the changes now what I'm gonna do is I would like to apply these changes to the title of slides 4 and slide 5 for this very purpose we use format painter so what format painter does it doesn't copies the text it rather copies the formatting of the text and lets you paste wherever you want to paste. If I click on Format Painter, it's on. I click slide number four in the slides pane. I bring my mouse over Countries to Visit. Now notice my mouse pointer has a little brush to it. Click on it and voila, here you go. Okay. If I want to reapply the same process, now if this is selected, which is a copied version of slide three, I can click on Format Painter again. I can go to slide 5 and click on cities to visit and here you go. So this is how you can go about working with how you uh, add spacing between the letters, how you apply different font properties which we have learned in the past and also how you go about using the format painter. Hope you would have enjoyed this tutorial. Catch you in the next one. Thanks.